hello guys I'm back again with another makeup tutorial today I'm gonna to be talking about how to contour and highlight your face real quick let's get into this video so I'm using the LA girl pro coverage foundation in warm caramel that's my shade and I'm just going to apply this in a dabbing motion so everything sits well together with my skin yeah and please guys if you've not already subscribed to my channel I'd like you to do that right now just click on the subscribe button and then you'll be able to get notifications when I have new videos yeah Applying same foundation around my forehead. I already primed my face too with the early girl um, face primer. I'm going to be following this up now to highlight. I'm going to be using the early girl pro concealer in shade fun. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to highlight under my eyes or just around the t-zone area, especially the areas where you want to pop. So you just put apply the concealer on that area. You can put a considerate amount. You don't have to use everything. I'm already highlighting the corners of my mouth, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. This is very important. If you want your nose to be really contoured, you have to do this step. I have to do it really well. Now I know you must have seen a lot of videos about contouring and highlighting but basically it's just about you what you want and what works for you now you can see I'm making sure my beauty blender is damp so I can use it effectively because if it is dry it's just going to mess up your work and remove your foundation and we don't want that so I'm just going to work gently if you still have to go ahead to make it damp go ahead because as you're working it gets dry you can still spray I used my setting spray on it some people prefer to use water now I'm going to set every part of my face where I already highlighted with my banana Benai banana luxury powder just I'm using uh, this um, wedge it's called a wedge some people use their beauty blender when it's dry not a damp beauty blender now you can use a um, beauty blender when it's dry but I prefer to use this wedge because it's easier for me but whatever works for you you can use it I hope this video is really helpful to some people out there because it was really requested I'm going to do the same thing to the bridge of my nose I'm using a flat brush from MAC I don't know what it's called but I use this for my nose because I want precision in this area so yeah I'm going ahead to apply the same powder on my forehead now um, after your makeup like this is my process after your makeup you before your makeup before you finish your makeup you're definitely going to have to blend out all this powder because you don't want um, you don't want to go out looking white <laughs> like that so I'm using this Zaron face definer to contour. It has a uh, highlight, contour and bronzer in this small kit. It's really cute and it does the job really well. It's pretty cheap. I'm using the brush from a uh, contour brush from one of the Kubuki sets. They're really nice brushes, very soft bristles and all. I'm just blending that out because we don't want any brown black thing on my face right there you just do that very gently you can contour the sides of your forehead if you have a pretty um, wide forehead now the idea behind contouring is you're trying to hide some features and then highlighting you're trying to um, make it obvious yeah so all the areas where I highlighted with my concealer I'm using the powder to set I want those areas to pop when um, you're seeing my face and then the areas where I'm contouring I just want that area to be like really deep like to have some sort of depth 
know that's the idea about contouring and highlighting and that's all guys please don't forget to subscribe and like and enjoy my videos okay thank you for watching guys bye